Hey all you book lovers, I'm Natasha and I'm going to be recommending you guys some of my favorite contemporaries that I've ever read. Never really done one of these videos before. I've been in this mood where I've just been wanting to read just plain old contemporary. I've picked up dystopian books lately and they just haven't cut it for me. I'm not really feeling the desperate, the killing, I just really want a lighthearted read and so I figured I tell you some of my favorites. First things first, you all probably have read this book, but if anyone has not, one of my favorite contemporaries that I've read so far this year was Anne and the French Kiss. I met Stephanie Perkins at the book signing and she is just the epitome of her books and I cannot wait to get to love the boy next door. If you guys didn't know, Anna and the French Kiss is about a girl who gets sent off to a boarding school in Paris because her father is kind of like this Nicholas Sparks writer and he wants his daughter to be this affluential young lady. Anna meets some pretty interesting people and it's set in Paris. It's just an amazing read to read this summer if you guys are looking for something for something that's romantic. One of my favorite contemporaries that I've ever read and it was one of my first contemporaries I read is Just Listen by Sarah Dessen. If you guys have not read a Sarah Dessen book, what are you doing with your life? I read almost all of her books from the ages of 14 to 17. I haven't picked up her new one. I don't know how I would react to it right now. I think I would still love her books and something that Sarah Dustin does she always has a running theme and something that you can learn from each story. Just Listen is about Annabelle and she is kind of like a model and her whole family is blonde and beautiful. Some of her family members are going down a different path and Annabelle is just trying to get through high school because she's being teased about this modeling thing that she's been doing in her hometown. She's kind of had a relationship fall apart and it's not making it nice for her at school. And you know, Annabelle meets a boy and I guess you just have to find who that boy is because you're gonna wanna pick up Just Listen. And if you like this one, pick up the rest of Sarah Dustin's book because some of her characters pop up in different stories and I love that. I love it when an author does that. My third book is an adult contemporary which I just recently read and it is Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. I love this book so much I just want it like ingrained into my soul and into, into my system. I did a whole review on it guys because it is Book Explosion's book of the month so we were having a live show on this whole book on May 24th which you guys should all join in because it's gonna be fun. Book Explosion if you guys didn't know it's kind of like a book club I'm doing with some of my friends. They invited me this month to read this book and I fell in love with it. Attachments follows this guy named Lee Lincoln. He gets a job at this local newspaper where he's kind of like the internet security officer and so he has to like make sure everyone's being good on the internet and it's set in 1999 so people are still kind of skeptical about it. He's sending people warning emails about not having personal conversations through email at work but when two characters conversational emails pop into his flagged email folder he doesn't really do anything about it because he is rather entertained by these two ladies named Beth and Jennifer. It's a really quirky, cute love story. It was rather refreshing to read about adults not having to deal with parents or not being able to drive. I do think this story will be really enjoyed through all ages. And this has to be my favorite Rainbow Owl book. I've only read Fangirl, but I like it better than Fangirl. My fourth favorite contemporary isn't really widely known, I think, on booktube, but it is Two Way Street by Lauren Barnhart. Barnholt? Lauren Barnholt. Sorry, Lauren Baum Bar. Barnholt. I remember when I bought this book, it was during the midnight release of Twilight on DVD and I saw it with my friend and we were like, this looks so cute and interesting. A road trip with her ex, danger ahead. And we thought that the story concept was so cool. We bought it together and uh, we share the book, but now I own it, of course, because <laughs> I read the books. So I've had this one for a very long time. I was 16 years old and reading about two 18 year olds, like on a road trip to go to college and they had just broken up, they had a messy relationship and now they're going to be stuck together in a car for hours on end. There are so many different fun antics in it and the characters go through so much and learn so much. It's just a really fun, funny read. I think I really like Lauren Barnholt. Um, I have another one of her books which I really loved and her story concepts are just so cool and I think she executes them really nicely. My fifth book I'm recommending to you guys is I think one of my favorites. Um, 
It is Meg and Mead's Guide to the McGowan Boys. If you guys have heard of this book, please let me know. This is written by Kate Bryan, and she wrote the Private Series, which I never read, which Gossip Girl was kind of adapted from. This book, which I don't think has much hype, um, I did see some booktube recently Instagram a photo of this, but this one is so much fun. Like, so much fun. I remember reading it. I read it, I read it a couple years ago, so I think I would still like it. The story concept is what drew me into this, because this cover sucks. Let's just talk about how sucky this cover is. I mean, this girl looks like she's dressed in the 90s with these black flip-flops, and these guys dressed in the 90s. I don't know what they were thinking. Megan Mead gets thrown into a house full of seven boys uh, because her parents are moving to Japan because they work in the military and she doesn't want to go with them. So her only option is to stay with this family that they've known for ages upon ages, but most of these boys are well grown. There are so many funny circumstances in this book and I wish there was a series because I wanted an end. I really wanted more because it was just so good and it's just so like drama filled. I think anyone is going to enjoy this because it was just so much fun to read. Definitely one of my favorites even though the cover is really ugly. My last book slash author I want to recommend to you all is Jenny Han. I do not own any of her books. I wish to own some of her books, but I recently read To All the Boys I Have Loved Before, and the hype, the hype for that book has lived up to the book itself. I wish I owned it because I love the cover. It's just so pretty. Is it a series? I think it's just a duology. I think there's only gonna be one more book. I'm not sure. You all need to read it. You all need to read that one this summer. If you don't read any of the books I just recommended to you, read attachments. But if you haven't, read to all the boys you loved before and get on that. If you've been under a rock or something, if you haven't heard what this story is about, Basically, it's a girl, she writes letters to, I think, about five boys, not intending to send them out, but after she is done loving them and has done been in love with them, she writes letters and pours all of her feelings into it, but suddenly they happen to be sent to these boys. Antics ensue, but it's just such a beautiful story because you learn so much about family and sisterly love. You won't want to miss this one because it's just so, so, so good. I also started her other series, which is the Summer I Turn Pretty series because of Reagan from Bruce Project. I L-O-V-E that so far. I have not finished it, but I want to finish all the books and they are on my to buy list this summer and I cannot wait to give these books to my cousins to read. Summer I Pretty series is basically what it sounds. It follows this girl whose mom's best friend owns a beach house. They go every single summer and she's grown up with mom's best friend's two boys and this finally this summer they take notice of her. I remember actually seeing those books on the bookshelves but I thought they looked so corny. It's not. It's Jenny Han. She's amazing. Check it out. Lastly, I want to tell you guys what contemporaries I'm planning to read, and those are We Were Liars, which is the next book explosion book of the month, and I'm joining them as well. And that one just, I don't even know the concept of the story. If you guys read the summary, it is so, so non-descriptive. It just looks so good, and I just recommend, recommend, I haven't even read it yet, but recommend you reading it. If you guys plan on reading We Were Liars with us, make sure to use the hashtag deny the lie so that we can check out like the progress of your reading so you can join in on the fun. My other book I'm planning on reading this summer is gonna be Lola and the Boy Next Door, and then Stephanie Perkins' other stories, which is Isla at the Isla. Isla, some, I can't think of the title, but I'll put it right here. I'm gonna read those definitely over the summer on vacations. Who cannot wait laying out on the beach? Contemporaries and beach just go together so nicely. The last book I'm gonna read is Sophie Kinsella's Can You Keep a Secret? I've read one of Sophie Kinsella's books, which is Remember Me. Not necessarily my favorite book, but I still enjoyed it. But the Can You Keep a Secret sound so good, and I cannot wait to haul it. This woman is a very, very good secret keeper, but one night on a plane across the country, she gets drunk and tells all of her secrets 
to the passenger next to her, which is a very handsome man, and turns out to be her new boss. I am so literally excited to read this. It sounds like the beginning of Grey's Anatomy, if you guys watch Grey's Anatomy, basically like how Meredith and Derek met where they slept together, but they didn't know that she was an intern and he was the attending. Yeah, it's gonna be like that, and it's gonna be good, and I uh, can't wait for the drama. I hope you all enjoyed this new little video I just did. Let me know some contemporaries that I should read, because I obviously do not know every contemporary that there is to know. Let me know down in the comments, and if you want more information on the live show for attachments and We Were Liars, all information is down in the description box. Thank you all for watching, links down below, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the future. Bye bye, fangirl on! Four cardboard cutouts of the characters. So I had two Edwards, I had an Emmett, and I had an Alice. And sometimes, when I was in my room alone, attachments fall. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Ugh. I'm like sandwiching my face with books. How do you guys like the natural lighting? First time I've used natural lighting. Crazy!